Welcome back to MMA Al Dente. I'm here to talk about Lupe Godinez versus Mackenzie Dern. My prediction for the fight is Lupe Godinez wins by decision. And I'm not too confident in that at all. Although I do think if she does win, her only path to victory is decision. So it's probably something I'd bet on anyway, even if I was picking Mackenzie Dern. But my pick is Lupe. The basis for the pick is that she has the wrestling to take away the grappling of Mackenzie Dern, and Loopy's also the sharper striker. Faster, quicker boxing, and faster is quicker. I just realized that. And I think uh, she would, in general, get the better of Mackenzie. But my reservations are in that, first of all, Mackenzie Dern has fought way better competition, which has made her record look bad, first of all, or worse, I should say, but it's also made her stats look worse, especially these wrestling stats. So I don't think it's a, a shutout in that regard where she can definitely take away the grappling of Mackenzie. In fact, I think Mackenzie is going to be extra aggressive. She's free to go balls to the wall on the feet because she doesn't give a shit if anybody gets taken down or whatever. And that'll open up opportunities for her to take down Lupita Godinez. She's going to try to get in on her hips. And the main thing with Mackenzie that gives me a lot of doubt is she doesn't need to win the wrestling battle to win the grappling battle. Her takedowns come every which way. She's actually got some decent conventional takedowns, although they're not up to par with her grappling. But she's got every other jujitsu takedown. Lacing the leg on Amanda Lemos. Lacing the arm, ripping a Kimura on Tisha Torres. Crashing into this one and that one. She's a, she's a problem once your bodies are connected. Once you're no longer revolving around each other and you're in tight rotating around each other, Mackenzie will climb her way on top of you. Her jujitsu is that good. And also, I should say, even though Mackenzie's the only girl who's been finished as a pro, the only girl who would get finished in this fight, aside from a cut or a broken leg or whatever the fuck, would be Lupita Godinez tapping out to Mackenzie Dern. Mackenzie's only loss by finish was to Jessica Andraz, Chad Mendez herself. So it's forgivable there. And she took her ass kicking for a good seven, eight minutes, whatever it was, and looked tough. Just she was out of that fight and was never going to be able to fight her way back in. So it was stopped. But Lupita Godinez does not have that stopping power. She just does not. Uh, she's got one TKO victory in her entire pro career. And it's actually a submission due to punches. So it probably should have been a submission. Uh, she's just not such a powerful fighter. But her hands are really sharp. And I think it is an advantage over Mackenzie Dern in this fight. If they are standing despite the power, which I think is on Mackenzie's side, and the aggression, which will be on her side, Lupita Godinez is the sharper boxer. And I think her hands would carry her to a points victory over Mackenzie Dern. Uh, Lupita, I should mention, has been finished once as an amateur, and it was by armbar. Just want you to know that I know it happened. I was able to see the fight. She was tossing the girl around and really dominant, but then just let herself slip and get caught. It was total inexperience and maybe a little fatigue, although I don't think so. It didn't look like it. Uh, but again, it was a while ago. Still, it was a submission, and she's fighting Mackenzie Dern, who's the biggest submission threat in the world as far as female MMA fighters go. Or maybe male MMA fighters. I don't fuck it. Uh, but she's up there. Uh, still, though, uh, Lupita, Lupita Godinez, her four losses as a pro have been to uh, Angela Hill, Luana Carolina, Jessica Penne, and Verna Jandidroba. I consider, as far as levels go, Mackenzie Dern to be right there with all of them, if not above all of them. I do consider above all of them. She beat Verna Jandidroba, heads up, uh, just a few years ago. But I do think uh, Mackenzie is going to be prepared for here. I think it's all going to come down to that wrestling battle. I think Lupita Godinez is a very sharp wrestler, despite being taken down by Verna and Cynthia Calvillo and Angela Hill and whoever else. Generally, she's a tough girl to take down, and I think she'll be able to keep this one standing and get the better of Mackenzie Dern. I have to mention my bet for this fight. I mean, I did mention I'll be betting on Lupita to win by decision, but this is also a fight where I will bet on draw. 
I'll throw uh, the smallest of sprinkles on draw for this fight because I'm very sure it's going the distance. And Mackenzie Dern, in addition to being very tough, she's a dominant grappler. She has a high propensity for 10-8 rounds. She's cutting through guards and threatening with submissions. She's had a bunch of rounds that I thought should have been 10-8s and may not have been scored that way. But it's definitely in her more than it is other fighters. I'd be surprised if Lupita Godinez got a 10-8 round in any way here. She'd have to really hurt Mackenzie Dern probably a few times. But Mackenzie just needs a takedown, and she's halfway to a 10-8 round, and you know probably pretty close to a finish as well. So I am going to put a bet on draw, because that's the kind of analysis you get here at MMA Al Dente. But again, the pick is Lupita Godinez. I'll look to play her by decision because it's her only path to victory. Although if it's really close to her money line, then I won't uh, play any props. Uh, but there's a lot of doubt because Mackenzie Dern is a better fighter as far as the levels go than the competition Lupita Godinez has fought and even lost to. And also Mackenzie Dern is uniquely free to be aggressive and even make mistakes because she's just got to force the fight to the ground. So... A lot of trepidation here, but the pick is Lupita Godinez by decision. Like, share, subscribe, all that horse shit, and check out my other videos.